Psalm 69, verse 10, 11, 12, 13. It is right to praise you, O God. When we think of the word it is right, and especially in this modern age in which we live, People often talk about their rights. Women have rights. This one has rights. Everybody has rights. Students as well. It is my right and my right. And, and perhaps they are correct. It is right. It is something good. It is something noble. Right? To praise you, O oh God. You have what? And why do we praise God? Why is it right and good and just and noble to praise God? You have created the earth. You have given it water. You have enriched it. The river of God is filled with water and you have prepared food for us and therefore it is right to give you praise. And then we go on, right, talking about the creation story. So when we look at creation, when we look at the notion of God, when we contemplate on who is really God, that powerful, majestic person, and simultaneously gentle with that gent, firm but gentle hand guiding us. We say, Lord, it is right to give you thanks and praise. It is just right. Even before we start to ask for material things, even before we start to ask for the gift of the Holy Spirit, we say, Lord, we turn to you and we give you praise and thanks. Again, that's how Jesus taught us to pray. When you pray, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed, may your name be holy, may your name be revered, may your name, hallowed be thy name, may your kingdom come, thy, may your will be done on earth, and then we go going to give us this day. So we praise, we glorify, we worship God, because it is right, it is good, it is proper to give him thanks and praise.